Hey guys. So, you know, we're getting ready to do the emergency fund workshop. And I thought that I would just create this quick little um, tutorial to show you how the emergency fund calculator actually works. So you're going to start off in this section here. How much do you spend a month on? And you're going to fill this out. So we're going to, in these key, key colored, um, cells you're going to fill out how much you spend so i'm just going to enter that in really quickly these are just random numbers in here and if we scroll down all scroll up here we can see that our three month emergency fund is ten thousand two hundred dollars if we scroll down a little bit further, we can see we have a breakdown of one month, six month, nine month, and 12 month emergency funds based on our monthly expenses. So over here now, I created a little bit of a sheet to kind of help us figure out how much an ideal buffer actually would be, what would make us feel most satisfactory. So based on these responses, it will change our emergency fund goal. So if you're a freelancer, you don't have, you know, a traditional salary coming in every month. So it means you're going to want to increase your emergency fund. So I dub would double it. Okay. If you have children or people who you care for, you also need to add a month of expenses per person that you support. So, right. I added an extra month. So if I have a car that is not in good shape, then I need to add another month. For every substantial stream of income, I can subtract a month. So let's say I add one, it goes down. If I add two, it goes down further. If I'm a homeowner, I also need to, to factor in that I need to save a little bit more for insurance and that kind of thing. So it increases this emergency fund. If I work in an in-demand field, nothing happens because most likely I can get another job really quickly. But if I don't work in an in-demand field, you're going to increase out on another month. So then what is your insurance deductible? I did, um, let's say it's $500. So I add that to the emergency fund buffer. And then would it make you feel better to have more saved? And I personally think it's always good to have more. So yes. And so that increases the emergency fund as well. So that is what is happening here. Now, over here on the tracker side, we are taking the, I kind of left it to just take the regular three month amount, but you could always change it to this amount in here. Uh, but yeah, I figured it's always good to start off with just a basic and then you can get a little bit faster afterwards. But you're going to enter your date in here. So that's today, 21st of August. And let's say I have $1,000 in here. So you see that updates my progress. Next, let's say maybe next month. Let's say maybe next month I have to use some of it. So let's say maybe I take out 200 and so you see that increasing and decreasing as you add or remove money from the fund. So that is it. You will get a copy of this if you enrolled for the workshop. So I'll have that link somewhere for you to grab your copy. And yeah, that is it, guys. Hope you like it.